Welcome back to NurseNet Numeracy, the free-to-use online maths tutorial course designed for nurses. In the previous lessons, we've looked at how to calculate infusion rates of a solution intravenously, whether it's a drug or blood, and we've used formulas that focused on calculating the total volume of solution administered over a set period of time, referred to as the drip rate. In this lesson, we're going to focus on how we administer a solution using either a pump or similar mechanical medical device. Or in other words, we're going to calculate infusion rates using an infusion device. The formula we will need for this calculation is volume of fluid divided by time. So let's do an example. A patient requires 300 milliliters of a solution by an infusion pump over 30 minutes what infusion rate is required. So using our formula of volume of fluid divided by time, we get 300 milliliters divided by 30 gives us 10 milliliters per minute. Okay, let's do another, but do pay particular attention to the metrics we are using and start to consider how this might affect our calculations. A patient requires 1.5 litres of a solution by an infusion pump over a 2 hour 30 minute period. What infusion rate is required? Well in this instance we need to convert both the volume and the time into the correct metric units. So let's convert litres into millilitres by using a factor of 1000. So 1.5 litres multiplied by 1000 gives us 1500 millilitres. Now we need to convert the hours into minutes. So 2 hours 30 minutes multiplied by 60 gives us 150 minutes. Now we can input this into our formula. The volume of fluid is 1500 millilitres and it's divided by the time of 150 minutes. Now working on the basis that you'll be sitting your drugs to calculation test without the use of a calculator, we need to think back to the foundation of mass element of this course and utilise our fractions knowledge. So simply put, let's start with 1500 over 150. Well, using a common factor of 10, we can reduce this fraction down. So 10 goes into 1500 150 times, 10 goes into 150 15 times. We can get this fraction down even further by using a common factor of 5, since 5 will go into both 150 and 15. So 5 goes into 150 30 times, and 5 goes into 15 3 times. So now we have a fraction of 30 over 3. Well, once again, we can reduce this down, as 3 is a common factor of both 30 and 3. 3 goes into 30 10 times. And 3 goes into 3 once. So our new fraction is 10 over 1. Therefore, we know this is an improper fraction, and we should really just write it as a 10. Therefore, our infusion rate is 10 milliliters per minute. Okay, let's do one more, but this time we need to do a bit more work before we can do our final calculations. A patient needs to be given 450 milligrams of a drug that is available in a solution with a stock dose of 10 milligrams per 20 milliliters of solution. This is to be given with an infusion pump over three hours. What infusion rate is required? Well, we've discussed this in previous lessons where understanding or comprehending the question is going to make our calculations and consequently the correct answer that much easier. So in this question, let's break this down into two parts. So in the first part, let's revert back to our formula, volume of solution divided by time to give us the infusion rate. Well, in the question, we know the time, which is three hours, but we haven't explicitly been given the volume of the solution. So we need to use our basic drug calculations to achieve this. And our basic drug calculation was prescribed dose divided by stock dose multiplied by the volume the stock dose is in. So we have a prescribed dose of 450 milligrams, and that's divided by the stock dose of 10 milligrams, giving us 45 milligrams. 45 milligrams multiplied by the volume the stock dose is in, which gives us 900 milliliters. 
since the stock dose is dissolved in a 20 milliliter per 10 milligram of solution. The final element we need to do is to convert hours into minutes. So 3 multiplied by 60 gives us 180 minutes. Now we know the volume, we can crunch the numbers in our infusion rate formula. 900 milliliters of volume divided by the time, which is 180 minutes, gives us an infusion rate of 5 milliliters per minute. OK, now do the infusion rate device test on the NurseNet Numeracy course. Remember, you can find lots more maths help for nurses at www.nursenet.uk. Or if you're simply looking for your next career move in nursing, do check out our jobs board.